He can breathe underwater because he has amphibious nostrils. I'm sorry, who? About that going away gift. I take it you've made a wise decision. I'll have the coffee mug. An uh, interesting choice, sir. There you are. Be seeing ya. I wish you would reconsider. Good day. Maybe Tad would like this sandwich. Oh, thanks, Buzz. He'll love it. Don't mention it. Think I could get some of that dolphin milk now? Sure. Here you go. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. I kind of want to pour something else in it. Turns out he's not the approachable type. You're damn right I ain't. Nah, I don't need any oil. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. A rotting basket full of putrid fish, or the other way around. Any change in your feelings towards Fishmouth? Yeah, I hate it a little more now. You're seriously not salivating with all this fish smell around? Yeah, Buzz. My idea of a rich, satisfying meal is one of those fish skeletons with remains of putrid, disgusting flesh on it. Ugh. Cartoons have been lying to me. Eureka, Sherlock. What do you think of Annie? Well, at least this one doesn't scream. You don't like kids, huh? How do you think that would make them feel? Cute furry kitty, not liking them. They shouldn't take it personally. I don't like anyone. Heartless carnivore. Guilty as charged. Digging the harbor, kitty? Yeah, man. Thinking of settling here and living a peaceful life of fishing out rotten tuna carcasses and watching the sun go down behind Devil's Reef over there. No, you don't. Focus, Buzz. Focus. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. Fish, I'm not a fan of. Badly decayed ones, even less so. Hey there, Gramps. Watch out! Get 
get lost, young'un. My name's Buzz. Nice to meet you. Get on out of here. Fish, fish ain't no place for you, boy. Well, at least you Fishmuthians are consistent about that. What a great evening to be alive, isn't it? <sighs> you think I'm crazy, don't you? Where'd you get that idea? <sighs> Old Zadok knows. You should not be drinking that, old-timer. Who, who, who are you to tell old Zadok what to do, sonny? Go, get, you think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I really don't. I hate to come across as judgmental, but do you really want to spend your twilight years in an alcohol-induced stupor? It is not a choice, sonny boy. If you'd have seen what these old eyes have seen, I tell you. Tell me. Nah, rat a drink, boy. Whiskey makes one forget. Really need that drink, huh? <sighs> I... I'm willing to do you a world of good and take that cursed whiskey off of your hands. Have you considered a healthier alternative? What you babbling about there, boy? How about tea? Nothing like a warm cup of tea to relax you and get you in the mood for a chat. I can stand that stuff. I've been a fisherman all my life, boy. It was just water, 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 all the time. I ain't putting that water down concoction in me, no sir. Kinda got a point there. How about soda? Soda? <laughs> Why that sugar water, son? <laughs> Health alternative, my soul to behind. Can't argue with that. How about coffee? I never touched the stuff. Never even smelled it. You've never smelled coffee? Not in my life, boy. My mama, rest us all, she tried to get my peppy to drink it. Left the old hooch. But my peppy wasn't having any of it. Did see is the devil's drink. Then he dunk another whiskey. <laughs> Lord rest. That's a story to remember, Gramps. How about orange juice? <laughs> Ain't no orange juice in fish, my sunny boy. You's more likely to squeeze juice out of a calamari. And you don't want to taste that, Trussell Zadok. I'll take your word for it. So you never tasted or smelled coffee in your life? Not in my life, son. Couldn't tell it apart from gasoline. It's a... Um, it's a question of pinsum. A prin... <coughs> principle. I gotta run. Run, boy. Never return. Looks like the oldest ship anchored in Fishmouth Harbor. If only you could tell its tales. Ahoy! That's your ship over there? She ain't going nowhere anytime soon, lubber. <laughs> Frankly, I'm flattered you'd call me that, but I don't think we've met before. Leave, your bilge rat. Oh, okay, understood. Bye. Avast, ye landlubber! Avast to you too, kind sir! I kinda wanna pour something else in it. Nah, no need to involve Kid A. A strangely shaped reef. Almost an island, really. A rusty, creaking fishing boat that's seen better days. Nah, I don't need any oil.
It shall pollute no more. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. No good reason to give it to him. I think I want to keep this one black. I take it. <laughs> Mr. Zadok. I've brought you something. What is it, boy? Coffee. What? Get the gosh darn abomination out of my face! Hmm, this gives me an idea. I gotta run. Run, boy! Never return! I think I want to pour something else inside first. I think I want to pour some... Nah, I don't need any oil. Oh, so the occupied room is the spill rooms? No, it's someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Flinman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. I gotta run. Take care, stranger. <laughs> Serve him his own coffee. Yeah, sure. Why would I mix these? offer you some coffee? You sure can, but I'm a saying no. I need something refreshing and fizzy. That's what I'm craving for. Gotcha. Can I offer you some coffee? You sure can, but I need something refreshing and... Gotcha. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. I don't think I want to talk to her anymore. On the way down, he passed hundreds of trout of different sizes.
Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. What is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? Says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. It's supposed to have a real kick to it. L let me see that. <sighs> smells like nothing I ever smelled before. And I can't say it's bad either. What is this devilry, boy? Kind of got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Whew, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's all right with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Buzz. Hey, you remembered my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmet? What is it you want to know, Buzz? Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmouth? Where do I begin, my friend? See, you stalk of a curse that wants to most of Fishmouth's residents' blood, turn them into fish and toad-like things. And then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliot Street. Seen them. Hideous fishmen and octopus like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Heard their awful noises. Horrible! It were horrible! The curse? Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The butcher. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? <laughs> I don't know that, Buzz. But I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for their evil festival. Ever heard of a man called Bob Olmstein? Can't say I ever did. He's supposed to be staying at the Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks lodging there have a habit of disappearing without a trace. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon. Fishman folks worshipping the Deep Ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this... Huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshipping Dagon in sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Crackham Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofa. Half goo what? The half goofa. Huge ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big, since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. I've got a confession to make. What's that, Buzz? The liquor I gave you that you loved so much? That's actually coffee. Whoa, whoa, what? Well, I'll be darned. You sure pulled a fast one on old Zadok, haven't you? Well... Good on you, Buzz. But you know what? Good on me too, because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. I guess I love coffee, and I gotta live with myself now. I just might be hooked on it. Well, better than whiskey. You're right, Buzz. And when you're right, you're right. Right? Right. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. God bless you, boy. Take care.
Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. <coughs> ah, that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! <coughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either, my roommate. W wait a minute, care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Olmstein is. I'm returning his cat. It got lost around the docks. I found it, so here I am. That is a very special cat indeed, but it's not Mr. Olmstein's. You are trying to deceive me. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run, or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case we can talk. My heart is not the issue here, it's my brain, I feel like I'm going crazy. Look, I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman, I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumbled into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir, and this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. Kidtype. Exactly, and then they kidnapped him. Kidnapped? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? It's gotta be real. Made my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is! Uh, an exception will be made. We'll walk up to his room, and we'll see from there. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kid A. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge, the Esoteric Order of Dagon, or the... the Butcher. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. I've heard of the Esoteric Order. What's up with them? Have you now? 
So you also know of what they're raising here in Fishmoth? Um, not really. The half goofa. Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but... Are you gonna do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. The Butcher? Tell me about the Butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that. But what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. Him and the Esoteric Order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Uh, anyway... About Olmstein. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Aw, oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough, but I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway... Can you describe Olmstein to me? Ha! Huh. That would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. B but the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. Changing subject. So he does this a lot to disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. It's what I do. Completely empty. Either Olmstein travels light or he's just wearing everything right now. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. Just a mug and pitcher of coffee. Nothing to shine any kind of light on this Olmstein character. Definitely not souvenir material. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped? But we didn't see or hear anything. I don't have a reason to leave this room in such a radical way. Already seen the view. It stinks. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too. Definitely not souvenir material. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. She doesn't care for birds. I 
I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Olmstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but it must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to find him. I need to change my cat back. That is your stake in all of this? Hey, that has a name, buddy. Sort of. How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. <sighs> Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him other and all of that, but his name is so common? There must be a reason for that, but does it really matter? Not to me. What's Olmstein's game? Is he good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions, and the former is much more powerful than the latter. If they do exist, maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side, and right now I am failing at that. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? Perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Aw oh, man, I know you're just speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic stuff again that just drives me mad. No offense, but why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. Of course you're not. But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? <sighs> I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature. Self-imposed balance and rules. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon, Buzz Koan? Yeah, occasionally. There is something about it. Its phases. They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. The Necronomicon. Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. Sherlock Holmes over here. It chooses roles. It alters the very nature of things. But it does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. And if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, that's encouraging. But mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not, I think. What do its pages hold? What language is it written in? And what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers, but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations, or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and stories. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No. No. Maybe I fear it more than you do. But that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. Yeah, I guess I need it to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. Roll? What roll? Finding the book was an accident was just bad luck? That is how the tome works. The rolls are defined, but the book is pure chaos. 
You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's too late. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? I am considering it. Let me think about it. <gasps> what was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it! Quick, out the window! Are you serious? It's really up high! Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go! Go! Find peace! Find peace! Hey there, Buzz! Fancy running into you! Mr. Katype! Please, uh, call me Don! Welcoming town, Fisherman, ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well, I have no shoes and I don't know where I'm running, but aside from that, I'm alright! You, uh, headed my way! Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on! Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi! All right, we uh, should be safe in here. I uh, hope. Better keep the lights down. You don't happen to have any cat food lying around, do you? Huh. I keep forgetting it can speak. It? Rude. Look, I let you two rest all the drive here from Fishmouth, but now it's time for us to buck up, get our coconuts situated, and work out where we're at. Right. So what happened to you? I cracked lid in the underbunk of some lunatic cult. These guys were also after the Necronomicon, but apparently you gave them the slip. Not the sharpest crayons in the box. The Starry Knowledge Cult. Yeah, how'd you know? Anyway, they kneel and keel to some kind of rock what came from the stars. Supposed to croak you or give you some kind of vision beyond time if you lay your mitts on it. So did you? Now I glow in the dark. The Haunter's Mark, they call it. Ain't something I'd believe if I read it in the pulps, but now it's on me, I... Can't deny it. Things have definitely gone 15 shades of bizarro. And there's a talking cat. Again, I'm right here. Rude. Whoa. Did you try using your uh, power? I didn't get the chance. I snuck out and crept around those smelly streets until I saw you legging it. That's about it. What you got? Well, I read from the book and now Kitty Talks, there's that. Then I visited a voodoo dude who told me to look for this Bob Olmstein guy in Fishmouth. Long story short, Olmstein had already left, but I did meet your employer. Fella by the name of Barnabas. Pretty big guy, white dreadlocks and beard, maybe in his 50s? Huh, I'll have to look him up in my files. Yeah, well, Barnabas is convinced Olmstein is of almost, um, divine nature? And there's also another cult called the Esoteric Order of Dagon, and they're about to have their creepy festival in Fishmouth soon. Oh, and there's a guy called the Butcher. <sighs> Just saying it all out loud makes my head spin. I know about those esoteric weirdos. Not the first time they completely shut off Fishmouth to do God knows what. Butcher, those starry kooks mentioned them. All Barnabas told me was to keep the Necronomicon away from the Butcher at all cost. And you know what's weird? Barnabas hired you to find the book, but he wouldn't take it when I offered it. Strange. Well, he did pay up front, so uh, he's alright as far as I'm concerned. So, what do we do now? You, uh, wanna help? Kid, strange and mysterious are why I work this beat. Now that I've lost my shoes and my hand is all magic-like, this old bloodhound ain't going back to the kennel until he's got some answers. Oh, boy, am I glad to hear that. Alright, well... There's two things. One, apparently there must be some item that counterbalances the Necronomicon's chaos, so we should probably look for that. And two, Barnabas told me to find peace. I kind of want to research that online. You do have internet, right? Uh, yeah. There should be some in that laptop thing. Oh, brother. You look into that. I want to see what this Haunter's Mark is all about. <laughs> 